I know, I know. But we have to do something. Are you fucking kidding me? When is this thing happening? Are we sure he's coming? Yes, you'll have an opportunity to... There he's he back. is. <gasps> the crooked man. Thank God. Motherfucker. Uh, Najgren? Are you okay? It's been hours. We were worried you'd run into some trouble. You didn't make it easy. At the crooked man's place. Well, he didn't make it easy. What happened? It doesn't matter. He's here. We got him. We can talk about it later. You did well, Sheriff. I'm surprised. Not that you did well, but that, you know... I'm just glad you made it back in one piece. Yay. It's about time you showed up. Now throw this asshole down the fucking well. Yes, what are you waiting for? You killed Lily! She was my sister! How could you? What do you have to say for Where yourself? Where the fuck do you get this off? You think you have the right and to just do this me? to people? You're a fucking this? Wow. this, You should be fucking ashamed. Shit hole. Everyone, can I have your attention? Thank you all for coming here on such short notice. I know normally we'd schedule a formal hearing, but considering the circumstances, I thought it best if we do this as soon as possible. The Crooked Man is charged with the murder As of I Faith and... As I already informed your sheriff, it was Mr. Georgie Porgy who killed those women, not me. Georgie what? Porgy? It was Georgie? Georgie. I don't mean to interrupt you, Miss White. Georgie may have killed them, but you made the call. Do I have to explain the situation to you again? Wait a minute. So you're saying Georgie's the motherfucker who killed my sister? Well, where is he? Yeah, oh, you're gonna bring no. that shithead in too, aren't you? Yes, yeah, Sheriff. Where is that rotten scoundrel now? Well, is he's he dead. still out there? I sincerely hope not. Well, where is he? Sheriff? Georgie was a victim of this psycho, too. He was pushed into the whole thing, and now he's dead. He's... what? Dead. So you see, the culprit has been punished. There's no That doesn't change anything. We'll deal with it later, but right now, you're the one I'm concerned with. You called the shots. Georgie made that perfectly clear. In which case, you still have a lot to answer for. And I was I told don't... I would be allowed to speak. We have to read the rest of the charges. What other charges? If you'd wait a moment. I'm well aware of my rights, Miss White. Let her Let finish. Her fish. And you can have your say. Got it? If you insist. <clears throat> you are charged with the murder of Faith and Lily, which Georgie carried out on your order inciting violence against various members of the Fable Town community, including the attempted murder of Sheriff Bigby Wolf. Twice. A misunderstanding. Aiding and providing monetary support for the forced prostitution at the Pudding and Pie. Additionally, you are charged with multiple counts of fraud, extortion, racketeering, and the illegal possession and sale of oh. magical artifacts. And for being a condescending <laughs> prick. <laughs> Now, is there anything you would like to say? <clears throat> First of all, I had nothing to do with Faith and Lily. So you can strike that one from your little record book. Bullshit! Second, like hell you did Stop the charade. We know you're in... Everyone yeah, just shut up for a minute. You wanted a chance to talk? Well, go ahead. What? We all know he's guilty. What the fuck does he need to speak for? The Crooked Man has committed crimes against this government and, most importantly, its citizens. These charges, if proven, are enough to justify death, upon which your body will be committed to the witching Where realm. it fucking belongs! That's so right. let's get on but with it But we promised you a chance to defend yourself, and I won't rob you of that right. What the You're fuck? Really this is about talk? justice. If we're ever going to pull ourselves together and make something of this town, we have to start doing things correctly. No more snap judgments, no more secrets. We are going to treat everyone fairly, even when they don't deserve it. This is ridiculous. You have the floor. Thank you, Miss White. You've all met Georgie. I don't have to tell you what kind of person he was. He was a total scoundrel, lacking in any sort of moral fiber. I hired him as a favor to his family, you see. A promise kept to a dying mother. Oh, Are you gonna get to your point or what? Uh... Georgie was working for me, yes. But he was not acting on my behalf when he killed those women. It was his business. 
And for whatever reason, I'm sure only he could understand, he murdered two of his most faithful employees. I had nothing to do with Tell it. This is such bullshit! For once. You've always been a bit of a powder keg. Georgie seemed pretty convinced he didn't have a say in the matter. He clearly misunderstood my intention. Really? Yeah. I would never authorize such an act. Any of you actually believe this bullshit? Holly, please. Tell them, Bigby. When you finally showed up at my door last night, wasn't I more than helpful? I answered your questions. I was willing to cooperate. I yeah, was attacked. Yeah, goons attacked me. Did you forget that part? They get a bit carried away sometimes, it's true. Loyal to the end. They do it because they want to protect me, as I protected them. You understand wanting to protect what you care about, don't you? Well... You'd do anything. You, you did you not protect... You might even give up an innocent man. Shit. Just to save someone. What's he talking about? Yeah. yeah, right. They don't do it because they want to protect you. You intimidate people. Use scare tactics. They're afraid if they don't follow orders, they'll end up dead. Let me explain this to you. My employees are just that. Hired help. I see some of them are here among you. They are not my slaves. They are all free to make their own decisions, as Georgie was. What about Lily? She wasn't free. She wasn't given a choice. Do you really think she wanted... that any of those girls wanted their lives like that? I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry that your sister asked me for help, and I'm sorry that I decided against my better judgment to give her a distasteful job. Right, and you kept them in debt so they couldn't leave. Yeah, that's what you did to us. <laughs> yeah. And you kept us all you in forget line. it was not me who put you in that position. You all act like I'm some kind of tyrant. Well, when your you government are. abandoned you, left you poor and helpless, sniveling on street corners, I was there to look out for you. And to make yes, all of this shit here. Yeah, I that was the great. one who let this town go to the fucking dogs. The guy who was in your pocket, remember? Really? What about Archie Greenleaf? Her story is not uncommon. She left everything she had back in the homelands. Everything that matters, anyway. With nowhere else to turn, she came to me for help. And what did I do for you? You got my tree back. I got her tree back. And in turn, we used her magic to help poor Fables get glamours. Because I helped her, she was able to make a living. Provide for herself. And what did they do? For the longest time, not much. But they asked me to come work for them. Really? The new deputy mayor wants you on the 13th floor? No. The wolf offered me the job. She wanted my tree destroyed. If she had had her way, I'd be hung out to dry on a clothesline by now. What? You were gonna burn her tree? Snow. Yes, yeah, Snow isn't. That? Don't blame, blame Snow, she had her reasons. Greenleaf was using her magic to help Crane and the Crooked Man. That's why Snow wanted your tree burned. That's not why. It wasn't her fault. You can lie to yourself, but you can't lie to me. You hated Crane, and you hated him for wanting to fuck you, and you being too soft to notice what he'd do to get it. It had nothing to do with a crooked man. We've made some mistakes. I've made some mistakes. But believe me, I truly want what's best for this town. And that may not always be clear right away. But I want you all to know that I care deeply about all of you. And so does the Sheriff. Yeah, right. I can't promise you perfection. No one can. But I can promise to always have yeah. your best interests at heart. Maybe you haven't noticed, but we've been doing all this to protect you. We're trying to stop people like him. The Crooked Man's been exploiting you. Exploiting your hope for a better life. You would go to him for help, and he would take that weakness and add it to his strength. And if things didn't fall exactly his way, someone would die. He took Faith and Lily from us. And while we can never get them back, we can certainly punish who's responsible. They're right. You're yeah. all still afraid of him, even now. But you needn't be. His contamination of this town is over. Yeah, yeah. And those girls will have their justice. There we go.
Very good, very good. The sentiment is surely appreciated, Miss White. But it doesn't disguise the fact that these accusations are completely unfounded. The sheriff simply doesn't have a particle of evidence linking me to the- Georgie was oh. working for you! Bigby got a confession A confession that, that nobody heard. Now, I'm no barrister, but I think such a statement would carry more weight if Bigby weren't the only one to whom Georgie spoke. Especially given Bigby's... history. What are you talking about? Yeah, what about so, your history? What about your history? All you've done to this fucking town. What do you mean there's no evidence? Maybe... maybe he's... I mean, this doesn't feel right, how we're doing this. I just Of need... course it's right! This man tormented all of you, for profit! <laughs> Georgie Let killed him- Let me just make sure I understand you. You're trying to say that I'm responsible for what Georgie did, because he was working for me at the time, yes? Yes. Of course! Where are you yeah. going with this? If I'm to blame for Georgie's mistakes, shouldn't Miss White be held accountable for Bigby's actions as well? Like what? How about the way he treated poor Tweedle D when he was in your custody? He was I did beaten to wrong. mashed apples while under your watch. Under my watch? Maybe That was great Did you think we'd all just let that go? You can't be serious. Yes, no one's Snow involved. had that. nothing to do with it. We all thought she was dead. Besides, Crane was still deputy mayor when that happened. Right before you decided to kidnap him. It was for his own protection. Yeah, protection. Oh, right, dear. Crane was in charge. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. That's enough. So, you won't answer for your employee's behavior, but I must perish for This mine. is completely different. I we all... did not order those two girls dead. It simply never happened. Georgie killed Faith and Lily. End of story. They want to scapegoat me for their own tangled ends, but they refuse to answer for their own this crimes. This isn't right. Oh, please. This isn't the point. We'll deal with them after we deal with you. Listen, I... Yeah, that's I need true. a certain level of privilege should be afforded to... To, to who? This is how it's always been. Yes. See, this is exactly to what I'm speaking. We lashed our ropes to this diseased world, and ever since, which one of us has been there for you? Who filled your lives with the promise of more? Who was there while they idly played in their towers? Judging you, treating you as mindless children, too stupid to command your own destiny. Without me, who will pay your rent when you're on the verge of eviction? Who Little. will dare challenge their brutality when it leaks to our dear citizens? It'll happen now Who will protect since, uh, you from the big Crane bad wolf? ain't mayor anymore. Who will be the- Bigby! Miss White! Excuse me, I, dear. I wanted to make sure I had the chance to say something. Why don't you take a yeah. moment to catch your breath? What's moment. she doing here? There we go. I'd like to, I, I need to say something. We're kind of in the middle of something. Bluebeard. What? Uh, go of ahead. Course. Go right ahead. You probably Remote don't remember me. I don't know why I was afraid to come My here. Dear, I don't Just know shut up. You enslaved <laughs> us for years. Let us hear stories about what you do. Told us we would lose everything if we stepped just one toe out of line. And we couldn't say a word about it because of these damn ribbons. <laughs> but you know what? Now it's my turn to talk. How are you? I found Vivian's body. Did nice. you kill her? Did he? She sure, killed this, herself. This is highly irregular. Yep. Vivian killed herself. Back at the pudding and pie. I'm sorry, um, I don't think I Nerissa! Knew... My name is Nerissa. It's okay, my dear. It's going to be just... He ordered them dead. This fucker. Faith and Lily... That's a lie! I was in the goddamn room when he did it! Faith and Lily are dead because of you. The only two people who ever and gave a damn about me. And he's going to pay oh, for it. He's gonna pay for it. He made Georgie do it. It was always him. Georgie would have never done anything without his say-so. Ever. You're going to take the word of a stupid... At least five other girls will back me up on this. We all heard you say it. Did you now? Looks like we found our evidence. She saw it firsthand. He's guilty! Good enough for me? Me too. 
So that's it, right? Calm down the witching well. No, that's too fucking easy for a crook like that. What do you mean? He's gotta pay for what he did. Listen to yourselves! You're all rats, fleeing from one sinking ship to the next. So quick to latch onto whatever will keep your miserable lives afloat. This is how you want to repay all I've done for you. What, you take two people's lives away and now you want mercy? You know yeah. we can't let you go free after this. You're done talking, crooked man. You had your chance. Well done, then. Now, for your sentence. We don't have to become murderers. What are you talking about? Yeah. He's guilty. I know that, but we don't have to kill anybody. We can imprison him. Lock him up forever. Somewhere he can never hurt anyone again. How can That's we be what sure I want he won't too. escape? I can help. We'll use magic. That's I not good enough. Maybe there will be more if he isn't Hasn't stopped. I don't care. So, so we can get rid of him. Get him out of here. We can Holy send everyone. Shit. Listen up. Clearly, we're having trouble agreeing on a suitable punishment. So I think this we... This is going nowhere. Someone needs to make a decision. Who? I yeah, we should vote. suggesting yourself. We should have a vote. Make it democratic. Do you really think that's going to work? He's right. Yeah. Nobody can agree on anything. What about Bigby? What about him? He was appointed. He's the only official representative, really. He should be the judge. That makes sense to me. I guess it does. Okay. Fine. Are you sure? This isn't how it's... It's what the people want, Miss White. Okay. Mr. Wolf, it's your call. Snow. Just do <laughs> what you think is right. Yes, to the yes. farm. <laughs> Do what you think yeah. is right. I'm gonna lock him up. Everyone, I'm not this way. Oh God! You try. You you're trying. Oh God! No fucking way. Yep. There you are. I hope you all remember this moment. Think of me when you try to sleep. I'm still locking him up. You said you had a way to keep him from hurting people. Wait, you After can't be serious. what he's done, you're just gonna put him in prison? This isn't the way, Sheriff. You're doing the right thing. Yes, there's a way. All right, do it. Ah, uh, nice. Yeah, long nice. Get some more half and buffs ready. Who's that? Not what I was expecting. Morning, crooked man. He's oh, shut <laughs> I thought it would be better for everyone if he parted with it. Thanks, Greenleaf. Work is work, I guess. Hey, Sheriff. Are you gonna come see the truck off? We're leaving for the farm in a few. Thought you might want to. Ah. I don't know. I'll be down in ah. a minute. Okay. Yes. Great. We're gonna see Toad go. This fucking line. Jack, you're doing it. Oh, uh, Mr. Wolf, Flycatcher left his keys. So, uh, okay. Is everything okay? You look. I'm, I'm sorry, Sheriff. I have to take care of this. We'll talk later, okay? Okay. Hey, Bluebird. Good hey. morning, Miss White. You're late. Oh, what? What's he gonna do? Someone's gonna see you, Colin. Ah, uh, Colin, get back into your fucking room. What the fuck is he gonna do? Shh. 
sure. Sure. Okay. Yay, there. There goes Toads. I'm going. Jesus. Ah, we only finally. have like five minutes. They carry me for fuck's sake. I don't give a shit. You forgot these. Oh, thank you. It's uh, been pretty busy around here. Morning, Sheriff. Nice fucking day. Oh, how Shit. are you doing? Just go grab that, would you? How are you, uh, holding up? I know this isn't ideal for you. I Wait, just Sheriff Bigby, I have something. <laughs> you know, he was up crying all night, poor kid. Can you give this to Miss White? Please? Dad oh. says there's no time to say goodbye, so if you could bring it to her... Sure, sure. sure. I couldn't take them all with me, and she said she liked a, that one the best. It's a uh, buck it's collection. It's a willow beetle. That's a big one. They're cool, because when they're little, they have these pouches that squirt juice at you if you touch them. I'm sure she'll love it. She said it was pretty. We're about ready to head out. What's it like at the farm? I've heard ogres live there, place. And, and they eat people in their sleep sometimes. God, yeah, I hope that's, not. Do we that's have not to happening. go? I want to stay here. Well, we don't have a choice anymore. Don't worry. You'll be a lot safer there. There's plenty of space to run around, uh, and a nice river nearby so you can swim all you want. Even in daytime? Yeah. Yes. You don't have to worry about the Monday seeing you. It'll be nice. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, it won't be so bad. Have you been there before? No. Yes. I'm not. <laughs> Some of the animals aren't comfortable around wolves. So you wouldn't know, would you? We're all set. Bye, Mr. Wolf. Goodbye, TJ. I see. Hey, Big Bigby! Where's your friend, Colin? Where's a fucking pig? Uh, how should, should I, I know? know? Saying goodbye? I'm not feeling guilty or anything for totes. Hi. Nah. <laughs> Hi. You're still wearing that thing. Oh. Yeah, I guess I am. It's not easy to forget. I know it seems like I should be able to. It's just... I it's understand. Okay. I get it. Listen, I... I came here because I have to tell you something. What is it? And it is? It's about what happened to Faith and Lily. I'm not sure where to start. Faith, Lily and I, we had this plan. We were gonna find a way out. Leave the pudding and pie for good. But then Faith decided to get some leverage. She stole a picture of Crane and Lily together. The minute Faith Aww. stole that photo, we had dirt on one of the crooked man's allies. If he found out, I... I had no choice. You have to understand. You've seen how they kept us quiet in that place. Can you imagine the lengths they go it's just okay. to silence someone yeah. who had physical evidence? It's okay. Just calm down. I freaked out, okay? I thought if I came clean to Georgie, he'd get the crooked man to leave us alone. We could just forget the whole thing. Maybe try again in a few years. You what? So I told him everything. And I begged for mercy for all of us. I didn't want anyone to die over a picture. Yeah, you were you trying to just them. trying to protect them. Yeah. 
Georgie promised he'd smooth things over with the crooked man. But then... Oh, God. <laughs> okay, that's not happening. I don't know what happened, but that night at the club, Georgie came back and told me things had changed. He had to make an example of us. We had committed treason. And while the two of us were sitting there, as he was telling me this, Faith walked in, and I had to watch while Georgie... Wait, so Georgie told you all this? Mm. Not the crooked man? Back at the well, you said... I know what I said. But it wasn't the truth, was it? What does it matter? I know the crooked man did it. So what if it wasn't the whole truth? It was true enough. Yeah, so you, you think that lied. makes it okay to lie? I know he ordered their deaths. I wasn't gonna let him get away with it because of a stupid technicality. Especially after... That night, after Faith. I tried to warn Lily, but she wasn't with her scheduled appointment. So I did the only thing I could do. I... I left Faith's head at your doorstep. You? I walked her over here. So that piece of that fabric. piece of fabric I found near there. That was you? Yeah. I cut my leg trying to get over the fence. So you... You started all this. I just... Pointed you in the right direction. People like us get forgotten all the time. The crooked man was counting on that. When we suffer, we do it in silence. And the world likes it that way. We just... fade. Like we never existed. I couldn't watch that happen to Faith. Or Lily. Nobody cares about us. Yeah, I'm sorry, Narissa. I'm sorry that's what it took to get me to pay attention. It'll be different now. You'll make things right. You and Snow. I don't know. Seems like no matter what I do, it's just not enough for her. Or anyone. I just can't win with these people. I know it might feel that way, but they need you, Bigby. Both of you. You two make a good team. The way you look out for each other, and look out for us. You don't see that a lot these days. I don't really know where we stand anymore. Things are just... different. Huh. Things are always different. Look, Bigby. After everything you've done for us, maybe they don't want to admit it, but without you, none of this would have happened. You listened when no one else would. You knew when to show mercy, and you brought justice to this town. Finally. Because you brought the crooked man in, everyone saw who he really was. So from where I'm standing, you did the right thing. You've been given this job for a reason. And I left Faith at your doorstep because I knew if anyone stood a chance against the Crooked Man, it was yeah. you. I hope I've at least done some good here. You've changed this place. For better or worse, Fable Town wouldn't be the same without you. That was a that was a great song. You're not as bad as everyone says you are. I remember that. I need to tell you something. I have to tell you something. I feel like we've met before. You're trying to place me. You like my ribbon? Do you like it? Faith wore one too. Would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. They used to call me the little bird. Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? He said he wanted to run more tests. I hope you find uh... what you're looking for. Yeah, let's let's go up to it. I'll see you around. Wolf. And that's the end. Oh. <laughs> I killed him. No, he was a shoot f fucking piece of shit. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Come back alive. Prison. Of course, I accepted it. 
I hope I have done something good. Yeah, I hope I've done something good. So, oh, nice. You lied to him about seeing beauty outside the apartment. You promised her you wouldn't tell Beast that you saw her outside the apartment. You fought him after the interrogation. Uh, not really much. You advised him to leave town. You gave him a drink when he asked for one in your apartment. You help. You help him to avoid. The you helped him to avoid. The you took him back to the witching well. You imprisoned him. You smashed up his place. <laughs> you offered her a job. You went to his place first. Oh, it's for snow. Uh, you brought her along with you to the trip trap. You showed her Crane's photograph of her. You promised to bring the crooked man back alive. You chose to wait for, t for him. You accepted his beetle and promised to give it to Snow. <laughs> you slept in during the interrogation in his apartment. Yeah. Fuck, fuck out. He ain't good for shit. Okay. Amazing. Oh, what a finale. This is just unbelievable. I never thought it would become this amazing. Dialogue was so perfect. Such, so strong from both sides. And yes, Telltale Games made me a happy man. The Walking Dead, they killed both Carver and, and Troy. Now also Bloody Mary is dead. Amazing. Seriously amazing. Oh. Well, and then, then it's, it's really a, a little sad that the series is, it's over. The Wolf Among Us is done. Mad and maybe there may be a new season. But yeah, I don't know. But yeah, from just just a game to check out, this became really really awesome. I can I I do not do not know. What what the exact what the exact word for this is? It's it's not it's of course it's not the Walking Dead, because they do they do did not f they did not throw with your feels here and there, but it it, it is good it's good with the amount of action. So I I'm again really happy. With Delta Games. Unbelievable how they do it. Time after time after time. Do we get an ending? Continue this story. Pick up a graphic novel today. Oh no. That's not. That's not. That, that's not a game. So yeah, I think that, that is the end. Yeah. The wolf. This is the very last uh, time I sh I'll see him probably. Nah. Maybe can. Probably got to do it again sometime. Yeah. Amazing, amazing series. We'll not, we'll not forget this one. Seriously, awesome. Uh, yep, this is Alex 67 and I I will see you all next time. Hopefully with The Walking Dead Season 2 Episode 4. So see you! Bye bye! Oh. Double kill! Jesus! She keeps duplicating! Okay, we need more power! <laughs> That's right. Okay, that was the real. It's 
Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. I got you. Not gonna happen. You're fucking dead. 